Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of Fears to Fathom Home Alone. This is the first episode. It's actually a free game that came out in July, and the second episode is out now. And I always meant to play this one. It's like a, uh, a home invasion horror game, and you guys, if you've been around for a while on my channel, you know that I love this type of stuff. Home invasion horror games. Uh, like I said, it's free, so episodes. Uh, see, this is episode two that's out. The second episode is like three bucks, by the way. And it just came out a couple weeks ago. So, it came out, Norwood Hitchhike, and I was like, well, I never played Home Alone. Fierce to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. You are playing episode one. More episodes are coming soon, which actually, uh, like I just said, they're already out. Let's play this one, I guess. <laughs> I mean, do I have a choice? Cool, here we go. Fierce to Fathom, episode one. I know this font, this VHS font. I use it too. I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. Also, the idea here is that instead of creating a Reddit thread, he develops a game. I see. I guess I'll just start. It was the middle of the summer. The pacing here is kind of driving me crazy. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip. Which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day. Though I did plan on fixing that. Ah yes, I am familiar with the I'll eventually fix my sleep schedule narrative that you keep fooling yourself with. I definitely have one of those going on right now. Oh, I'll fix it someday. I thought those were aliens for a second. That was an alarm clock. I woke up at around 8 after a nap. Okay. We're feeling pretty bleary-eyed here. Pretty sleepy. Wow, look at how brown our room is. Incredibly brown. I thought that was a note at first. <laughs> From a distance, it looks like that's a table, like a longer table with a note on it. Okay. Play too many of these indie horror games, right? What's this? Oh. Hmm. There's voiceover. Hmm. I really did have to do homework, but as I said, I had to eat something first. Okay. God, there's traffic outside. That's a nice touch. I just saw a car drive by. Don't you feel like you're actually in suburbia? I feel so immersed right now. Okay. <gasps> Mom, three text messages. Let's see. Um, wait. Okay, wait. I've got actually there's a lot there's a lot of text to read here. The first time I ever texted Mom, I said, "Wait, when are you guys going to be back? Today at 9:24 a.m." Dad and I are going to be back on Monday, honey. Didn't I tell you that yesterday? Cool. Take care, honey. Sleep on time. I hope you'll get the Xbox like you promised. So wait, how old are we supposed to be? Somebody without our own income, I guess. I mean, if you get that discount. Can I invite Mason and Josh over for the night for homework? Of course you can. Call me if you need anything. Make sure to check it's them on the door before opening it. Check through the blinds. Take care, honey. Okay, nice little game tutorial here. What, what, imagine telling like a teenager to make sure you check through the blinds. By the way, I got I just got an achievement. You can't see it. But I think it's because I've been reading the text messages. It's called Curious, which I am. Sure thing, Mom. Dad and I may be back by Sunday evening. Why are you being so paranoid? Mom, I'm 14! There it is. Think I'm gonna take a little nap. 14-year-olds do not take naps, dude. What? Have you ever been around a 14-year-old? They think naps are a waste of time. They'd rather live. Unlike you old people who always need to be asleep. Probably gonna order some pizza. Yes. No need to order anything. Already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Oh, no, 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 no. Lasagna and pizza? While both containing similar ingredients of uh, cheese and tomato sauce are completely different. One of them is fun. Here's my buddy Mason. Uh, we say yo to each other, apparently. You coming to Jessica's tomorrow? Yeah. Her Josh coming too. WBU. IDK. What's wrong? Weren't you gonna see her yesterday? 
She didn't show up. It's like I don't even matter to her. You matter. Unless you multiply yourself by the speed of light squared, then you're energy. Oh my god, Mason's a dork. I guess I'm energy then. The banter is off the charts here. <laughs> Watch out. It's radioactive. How's chem? Yeah, crap. I totally forgot. Probably gonna do tonight. Lol, same. My parents are out for the night. Want to come over? We can play Mario Kart too. I'll let you know. Okay, call Josh too. Can't promise, dude. May have plans with Nat. Is that short for like Natty Light? Wouldn't put it past Mason. Seems like a Natty Light drinker. Let's go into. Don't ask me why, but I went straight to my parents' room. <laughs> oh, did you hear the dog? Dog outside. What is that guy? Do you see that guy? Oh, don't even act like you weren't staring at my house. You were staring at my house! I caught that guy staring at my house. <laughs> Where's that creeper? You've got such a dimly lit house, can I say that? What is this? Y'all have absolutely horrendous interior decoration skills. What is this wall? Why did you put it way up here? It's like a frame inside a frame inside a frame, and then inside the smallest frame is some bullshit <laughs> that doesn't deserve to be up on the wall in the first place. Is it is it up so high so that nobody takes it down? All the, the picky short people can't remove it if they want to. All right, let's get the uh, lasagna. Where is it? Oh, G to throw. Food was cold. <coughs> Useless. Throw mom's hard work down the ground. Okay, no, uh, really what we gotta do. Put it in the oven? Oh. Didn't even need to open the door. Just threw it straight in. We'll leave the fridge open to waste energy. Huh? Huh? I probably should have closed refrigerator's door. Fine. And so I did. Oh, you think, you think, you think you could get into my house? That's funny. I'm gonna Kevin McAllister your ass. Oh yeah. Legos on the ground. Yeah, you're gonna be stepping on those barefoot. Food was nice and hot. I liked watching TV while I ate. So hang on, did you just pull that out without oven mitts? He's a mad lad. <laughs> I do like that you could just chuck. You could just chuck it. I'm just uh, doing a perimeter sweep right now. Doing a perimeter sweep. Oh, it's just open. Dude, I didn't realize this. That guy was looking at my house from my driveway. I thought maybe it was a neighbor's driveway, but he was all the way up here. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Okay, where is this? Uh, okay, I see. So, can we lock these? I would love to lock these. Alright, hang on, let me pick up the lasagna off the floor. Um... I guess... Yeah, I guess we'll watch TV and eat lasagna straight out of the dish with no utensils. Um... <laughs> I liked watching TV while I ate. Oh, trust me, I'm trying to... Okay, I'm trying to solve this. Just... yeah. Okay. I, I thought maybe there was a remote down. Why wouldn't you have a remote on the... Okay. Oh look, I ate some! What a slob! What are we watching, by the way? Is this Adult Swim? It's on early. Well, this is a... Perfect entertainment. Say, did, weren't you supposed to be doing, like, homework? Or something? I'm just gonna eat all of it. Oh, I just saw somebody go upstairs. I was already feeling very sleepy after eating the food. What is this? Turn it off. I need to hear. Is it open? Mason just sent me two text messages. Hang on. I'll answer from outside in public view. Okay. Let me take a look. We're gonna have to call it off, man. Something just came up. But you gotta come to Jessica's tomorrow. 
Okay. Thanks, Mason. All right, so Mason ain't coming over after all. What about Josh? I'm gonna leave my door open, actually, because somebody's already inside. So if I leave the front door open, maybe someone will get suspicious and come over. I saw somebody walk upstairs. I'm feeling sleepy, huh? I'm sorry, Miles. Gotta see you tomorrow. Yeah, I don't care. Where is it? Turn, turn on the lights. Check the closet. Check under the bed. Um, don't forget Chem though. Shout out, dude. All good. I'll probably just go to back to bed after Chem. Huh. Why would someone want to get into my house? It's not like we have anything valuable here. Dude, talk about bad interior decoration. Look at this landing. They were like, we'll put a long rug and that should do it. We'll put a long rug and like some cheap ass painting or slash photograph. Dude, somebody came up here. They have to they have to be in my room. What? They're not up here. Is there an attic that they went to? Just real quick. I'm going to go ahead and close the front door because if we're going to bed, I don't want their friends coming too, you know? Closets? Hmm. Why is there a plate here? Take your plate downstairs and put it in the dishwasher, you slob. All right. Let's do our homework, I guess. 12.38 AM. I got done with the homework for the day in about a few hours. Ooh, good thing the moon's out, y'all. You think I'm going straight to bed? You got another thing coming. All right. What's up? Don't stay up too late, you kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Mrs. Paula this time. Who, who is Mrs. Paula? Okay. Uh, well, I guess I will just... Let's close this door. You have a lock? Good. No, lock it. I mean, we can't do it yet. So I just go to bed? One sixteen a.m. I got up to get some water. You asshole. Who is drumming at a time like this? Somebody's hitting that snare awful hard. I like how anytime I'm near the blinds, it moves them up. That's kind of funny. Can I... Turn the, uh... Is there like a... Is there a light somewhere? What's with the intense music? I need to get a- I need to get a cup. Okay, that'll help. Oh wait, maybe there's water already in the fridge? Oh yeah, there is. Right click to drink. I was gonna get a cup and get it out of the tap, but I didn't grow up with boozy shit, like tons of bald water in the fridge. I like this chair here. You know, for when you just wanna sit in the corner by the fridge. <laughs> Who's that at the door? Miles? You there? Somebody's at the door, huh? That's weird because I saw somebody come inside. Earlier, so did they go back outside? Oh. He's a creeper. Paula sent me. Said he's been creeping through the windows. We're calling the cops. You kids lock every room- every door and hide in your room. Don't answer the door no matter what he does. I gotta lock all the doors. 
No! How do you lock it? How do you lock the door? She said to lock the door. He's still there. Look at him. Look at him. He's peering in. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What did you say to do? Hide in your room. Okay. So I'm, I'm just going to assume that the doors are already locked. And we don't need to lock them. I'm just going to go hide in my room right now. Red means scary, y'all. And he was covered in red. Click to hide. Ooh. I think hiding in your bed would be like the one place that would be really obvious. It doesn't matter if the doors are locked if they break in through the window. Ah, uh, uh-uh. Bro, you broke the window. Why'd you ring the doorbell? Nope. I think I'll just stay here. It's Paula at the door. Wait, hang on. Do you hear her? It's Paula at the door. Mom's so sorry, honey. Everything's gonna be all right. No, it's not. Uh-uh. It is not Paula at the door. Mm-mm. Mom's so sorry. Mom doesn't talk about herself in the third person. She, she calls me honey. Several times. Am I supposed to get up and answer it? Do I have a choice here? If it rings one more time, I'll go. I'll go. Uh, okay. Like, I don't buy this at all, dude. Oh, damn. No. This seems like a very linear game. I think you're supposed to go to the door. at the door. Oh, I got an achievement. Survivor. I was kind of not expecting that. It was Paula at the door. Oh, I thought somehow like... That wouldn't have made any sense though. Like, like the bad guy got like mom's phone or something and texted saying that. Okay. I think I was expecting the game to be a little bit more complicated than it was. It just, it just totally closed. Okay, I'm gonna play one more time, and uh... I'm gonna see if you can get caught. Interesting, if you just go downstairs, and look out into the driveway, there's no creepy dude there. I can't wait to pull this out with my bare hands and eat it. <laughs> Food was heating up. There we go. Can't wait to just start scooping out lasagna. With my bare hands. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna keep keep an eye on those stairs, dude. It happens. I'm gonna be staring straight at the stairs. I'm not even looking at the TV. Look at that. I knew I didn't imagine it. It's weird because like I guess the creeper comes in. And he goes in there, but then he goes back outside to knock on the door. And he breaks the window, but then he rings the doorbell from outside again. You know, it's weird. Doing a fears to fathom speed run at the moment. Couldn't focus because of the TV's noise downstairs. Oh, this is a crap speed run. Hey. Hey. <sighs> As I tried peeking through the blinds, he looked straight at me. I felt my heart skip a beat. Oh. It's okay. That's pretty cool, though. That's pretty cool. Let's open the door. What? What? <laughs> I was like... 
I was like, I outsmarted this guy. <laughs> oh, he just kills you. Uh, but he waits a second. All right, well, that was Fears to Fathom, episode one, Home Alone. I'll be playing episode two, titled Norwood Hitchhike, in the next video. And it looks like they have five episodes planned, so that's very cool. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I liked this. It was a lot more simple and linear and much shorter than I thought it would be. But it is free. Yeah, actually, I really liked the atmosphere. As far as the gameplay went, it was like really, really simple. But like, a home invasion horror game like this doesn't really need to be that complicated. Uh, so I am eager to see what the hitchhiking one is like. That sounds very promising and I look forward to it. I think you can't, you know, you can't go wrong for a free horror game. Very short, but uh, I'm eager to see what the remaining episodes are like. And let me know what you guys thought about Fierce Fathom Home Alone in the comments. See y'all in the next video. Think critically.